Hey, uh, it's been a long time since we've seen. Seven months, huh? So what have I been up to? I uh, started uni, got pecked by JavaScript, been doing the most obnoxious and drawn out Kurt Cobain cosplay, uh, also been eating shit like a delicacy and just a couple of other honestly less time consuming things that aren't really worth mentioning. Manga is what this channel is about, more specifically dark, mature manga. So I bought 14 volumes of Pokemon, I've been reading them on loop for the past 6 months. This is my favourite character, she's a capture specialist, which is actually... Wait, the fuck's that? And so, from the forbidden corner of the shelf, the one-shot section, called forth a book having been dormant for over six months wrapped up in plastic awaiting its first victim, Downfall, by... Uh, well, time to lose all basic human function for the rest of the day. That line is actually horseshit because I'm literally writing this script right after finishing it. If you don't leave a like and subscribe, I will cover this oh one next. God. Yeah, this is a threat. Oh my god. He this video is sponsored by me. I make music. You're listening to it right now. And if you like it, you can stream it on Spotify, Apple Music, and whatever. I also have a Patreon where I post my songs early. And there's some demos on there that I will probably never release anywhere else. So you can check that out. Huge thank you to everyone on there, especially Crimson Nomad, the one tier three fucking lunatic. Uh, you motherfuckers have literally put food on my table. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate it. And yeah, I am actually working on a proper album with a bandmate, and once that drops, please go listen to it. The songs we're working on are kind of cool, so yeah, you'll know when that happens. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and I have an Instagram now, go follow that, I guess. Downfall follows Kaoru Fukazawa, a manga author in his late 30s who's just completed a manga that was 8 years in the making. The series, called Goodbye Sunset, was decently popular, but dropped in sales by the end of its run, leaving Fukazawa unmotivated to start a new series, despite having people who work under him and people above who expect him to deliver. A burned out sandwich board? Ew, what the fuck? He's also struggling with a failing marriage filled with neglect and lack of interest from both himself and his spouse, although he fully blames his wife for it, and as it stands, Fukasawa is actually a fucking asshole. Hey, it's Inio Sana, what you thought the protagonist would be likable? The fuck? Fukasawa starts resorting to prostitutes for sex and comfort while his wife postpones signing the divorce papers. He meets a girl with cat like eyes, which is a metaphor for something. I don't know, I'm a YouTuber, I don't get metaphors, it's not in my programming language. Fucking help me. And all the while, he's still procrastinating with his work. Fukasawa's biggest problem is putting far too much value in sales. It makes sense to an extent, if a manga doesn't sell, it'll eventually get axed and the author will have to start over again, or potentially lose their entire career if they get blacklisted for pumping out such horse shit that publishers just lose faith in them and decline to give them another chance ever again. But the way things are made out in Downfall, it seems apparent that Fukasawa is genuinely a genius and shouldn't need to fear this outcome. So he's not worried about an idea getting axed, instead he's hyper-focusing on selling better than other manga artists as not to feel inferior to them because he has a massive ego. So he's trying to preemptively calculate what will make for a bestseller before even picking up the pen, despite getting nothing out of it creatively he's purposefully making a manga that manga readers enjoy and stories like that contain no value to him. The temptation of catering to popular demand locks artists up in chains all the time. The people behind brain-numbingly boring chart-topping hits are not pushing their creative potential to their fullest, I'm sure of it. But they cater to what is popular because it pays the bills, and it gets them on top. For some people, everything is just a contest. Some people likely also do this with the idea of quickly creating an audience that will allow them to experiment later on with the small price of losing part of that audience. For others, the reason could simply be that the desire to be popular exceeds artistic passion. Fukazawa mentions multiple times that he hates manga, and honestly, for each. Although deeper into the story, he does admit that he actually hates manga authors because they're self-centered assholes, and then he proceeds to act like a self-centered asshole. This manga to me is honestly about an annoying elitist who straight up belittles people for enjoying simpler things than the things he considers worth enjoying. So leave a dislike for a Pokemon video.